This video will demonstrate some ways to use CTM log to look at control and server logs. CTM log can show and filter server logs in the following ways. First, you can filter by time. You can use hours back from the current point in time up to 48, or you can use a date and time range. You can filter also by the job name and the order ID, by the server process, the message ID and the log. And of course, you can use the output with different OS commands such as grep. First, you'll notice that if you run it without any parameters, it'll prompt you for the option you want to use. We're going to run it with parameters this time. First of all, let's run it and return everything, and then we can start filtering. So CTM log list star will return everything that's in the log. As you can see, this is a lot of information. So let's start filtering. Once this finishes, we run it with the list order option to return an order ID for a job. So let's run that now and see what we get back. This is for the last 12 hours. There we go. Now, let's list all the runs of a job name. First, we'll do it for 24 hours. The list job command allows us to do that. We enter the job name and then the time, either hours or the range. We can see there's quite a lot there, so let's rerun it with five. And there's a lot less. List job can also take a job number. So let's run it and give it a job number instead. And we'll take a look at where we can also find that job number in the GUI client once it's run. So list job. And this time I'm going to give it number 79. And star. That returns everything. So the job number can be found in the client by selecting the job, looking at the log, and in the first line, you see the job number. Next, we'll take a look at list message command. So list MSG. This will find the control M server message associated with any particular action. These can be found in the messages guide in documentation. In this case, 5040 is new day procedure started. Let's clear the screen and we'll run list job name. This job name is very much like this job. You just pass it the job name and it returns all instances of that job name. You do need to be careful with this because it will find the same job with different order IDs, but as long as you're aware of that, there won't be any problem. Next, we'll look at the list SS option. SS stands for subsystem. And we're going to pass it CD. We're going to look at the last 12 hours of the CD process. CD process is good because you can see all the new day activity. As you can see here, we can see new day activity and the job runs. Now let's take a look at what we can do with the output. First, we'll, we'll just pipe it out to a text file and then take a look at the text file. So this is Windows. The same applies in the same in Unix and Linux. You can pipe out to a file. And here we are, just opening it. And you can see the same output there. As another example, we can also pipe the output to a PowerShell command. In this case, we're going to pipe it and filter it based on the word new. This will give us the new day start and end times, which may be useful. This is just an example of what you can do with CTM log and PowerShell. This concludes this Control M Solutions video. 
please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.